Now, as more countries grapple with the practical and economic repercussions of widespread lockdowns, we're getting some concrete data that suggests a sharp recession is indeed in store. Now, our business editor, Kate Moody, is standing by. Kate, thanks so much for being with us. And we have a new survey. It shows uh, that, unsurprisingly, business activity in both the US and EU has slowed rather dramatically. Absolutely. We've seen the signs in the deserted streets, in the closed shops and restaurants. Uh, so this doesn't come as a surprise, but the data does paint a very, very stark picture uh, of the economic future. Uh, IHS market saying that business activity across the Eurozone plummeted to its lowest level on record, uh, down the PMI index down from 51.6 uh, to 31.4 for the month of March. Any number below 50 indicates a contraction. Uh, this is for both the services and manufacturing sector across the block. IHS says that this already exceeds any drop that we saw during the global financial crisis. Uh, over in the U.S., we've seen a sharp decline as well, the steepest drop since 2009. And of course, in the U.S., the lockdown down and subsequent damage to the economy is only just getting started. Now, here in France, we've gotten some more updates from the finance uh, and economy minister, Bruno Le Maire, who has compared this shutdown to the Great Recession of 1929. Uh, he set, declined to put a figure on the exact damage that would be done to the French economy, uh, although he did confirm that French industry is currently operating at only about 25 percent of its normal capacity. He said the French government does have a list of companies that will be eligible to apply for those emergency rescue funds uh, that he outlined last week. He said that comp big companies that don't pay their suppliers on time uh, notably will not be eligible for that kind of support. Uh, and he did say that 730,000 workers have been temporarily laid off already and are asking for emergency government support from that fund. We know that it's going to cost about 45 billion euros. He said it will cost an additional 1 billion euros every week that this full lockdown continues. Uh, very briefly, Kate, uh, global stock markets have been on a roller coaster as uncertainty continues to grow. How are they faring this Tuesday? Well, despite that rather gloomy economic data, we're seeing stocks soaring this Tuesday. Uh, the major European indices up between about 6 and 8 percent, depending. A similar story over on Wall Street, where the Dow Jones has gained about 1,600 points. Uh, these huge swings are seem, do seem to be becoming the norm throughout this pandemic. Uh, investors seem to be reacting quite belatedly to the U.S. Federal Reserve's announcement that it would be buying those asset purchases for an extended, uh, indefinite period of time. Uh, they're also being boosted by reports that the U.S. Congress may be closing in on a deal. Uh, we understand that, that the Republicans have said that there will be more oversight of any money that's given out. It's about a $500 billion bailout program, uh, a mix of cash grants and loans. Uh, of course, the details still to come, but the U.S. economy will be very exposed to any kind of a shutdown. Uh, and so the U.S. lawmakers are obviously trying to look for a way to cushion the blow. We will expect to see an immediate reaction on Wall Street if and when they do come to a deal. Kate Moody, thank you very much uh, for that business update. And uh, thank you for watching the, this, this edition of France 24. Do stay tuned.